parents, if you have a child with asthma, uh, remember, we start seeing flare-ups in kids uh, really right through the end of September and on. So let's talk about what you need to know if you have a child going back to school with asthma. We have Dr. Richard Bayen who is back with us. It's so nice to have you back, doctor. Thank you, Linda. Yeah. It's, it's always a pleasure being here. Uh, you know what? I find asthma to be scary as a parent because you see a child where maybe it even hasn't been diagnosed, they're kind of fighting for breath, and you're not really quite sure what this is until it's diagnosed. Yeah, so as, asthma needs to be thought of as a chronic condition. Mm -hmm. This is lifelong. Mm -hmm. This is not just a treat and right. done. So it's vitally important for the parents to really know that this is chronic, and also that poor child is, is probably drowning. Yeah. They're kind of breathing through a straw. Mm -hmm. So if they're having shortness of breath, if they're wheezing, they got chest tightness, they're coughing uh, incessantly. Those are the signs and symptoms that they really need to pay attention to and to get treatment soon. Asthma, can it be hereditary? Hereditary, no. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's environmental. It's basically a disease of reaction. Mm -hmm. It's a reaction of your lungs to viruses, mm -hmm. to pollens, to molds to allergic stimuli, so it's really a disease of reaction. So it's really not a hereditary So don't condition. think your child can't have it because nobody in the family had it. That is correct. Right, all right, so what causes a spike in asthma attacks each year uh, at, at, and at what times? Yeah, so right, right around now for kids is kind of an important time for you to pay attention mm -hmm. because the kids going back to school, their schedules are changing, yeah. you know, when they're at home, if they didn't get up early and they didn't get their medicine in, we can still give them their medicine. Now they gotta hustle off to school that they forget to take it or not right. before they got there. There's molds and pollens, you know, ragweed is starting to rear its ugly yep. head right that now. We got molds coming, molds coming out. And as we click on furnaces, sometimes we're pushing molds into our, our home. So these types of things, and also you're exposed to other kids and other kids right. have germs. Right. So what steps can parents take now to control their child's asthma? The most important step a parent should take is really checking with your doctor mm -hmm. and developing an asthma plan. You should also make sure that your refills on the medications are up to date. Right. Make sure that the school has the rescue medication in case it's necessary and have that asthma plan given to the school so that they're well aware. That's right. Make sure the school understands and knows. Absolutely. Right. Can they keep an atomizer for your child? Uh, you know, if, you're, if your child forgets theirs that day and they have an asthma attack at school. They, the school nurse cannot. They really need a doctor's order mm -hmm. and they really need doctor's direction. So, because they're not a healthcare practitioner, right. they really can't treat. Mm -hmm. But that's why it's important for the yes. parents to be proactive to right. get things uh, in place for their kid. So, an asthma action plan would be a good idea, not only for parents, but for grandparents too. Maybe some of the grandparents are taking the kids in the afternoon. Yeah, I think it's any caretaker. Mm -hmm. And on that action plan, you want, what is the medication schedule? Both the maintenance medication for asthma and the rescue medication when they're having that asthma attack. Right what the doctor's phone number is, what are the triggers that this child might have so people are aware. Yes. So it's real important that any caretaker have that action plan and the school have the action well, plan. Well, it, it's just, it's, it, it makes so much sense to be prepared for something like this. We've got the kids going back to school, put it on your list. If your child has asthma, make sure you talk to their doctor and you, you have your asthma plan in place. And, and I love when you come in because we, we talk about a lot of things, some real life things with people. And Dr. Vallen is just such a, a great guest for this. But if you would like more information on this topic or any of our Univer Healthcare AM Buffalo topics, all you have to do is go to Your Health Matters at WKBW.com and you can get all the information on today's subject. There you go, WKBW.com, look for Your Health Matters. And we'll be talking to Dr. Vallen soon.